Let's bring the man back down here, the living legend, Sergeant Muldoon! Sarge, you've had the pleasure of being part of New England Wrestling for 40 years. In that time, you've met many wonderful people. Tonight, some of those folks are here to pay homage to a Hall of Famer. The International Wrestling Federation was your first wrestling company, and it's safe to say, without the IWF, the wrestling in New England would not be some of the best in the industry. Without further ado, let's bring out some very special guests. The first person I want to bring out tonight is not a member of the International Wrestling Fraternity. In fact, at the time, International Wrestling never existed. She wasn't born yet. She has to have a minute to express her gratitude to you as a trainer, a mentor, as she owes her entire wrestling life to you for showing the patience to train and bring her along in the business. She calls you Uncle Sarge. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the other Muldoon of Showcase Pro Wrestling, Alicia Muldoon! The next person often stated he was one of the greatest opponents ever to step into the ring with Sergeant Muldoon. It is often said nobody hits harder than your best friends. There was never a non-believer when you two were in the ring. And in 2011, you inducted him into the New England Wrestling Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. Would you please welcome to the ring, Tim O'Reilly! Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, I think we first met maybe 1983, and uh, yeah, we hit each other hard every night, right? And every night, but it was fun, and uh, we had some wars, and we put a lot of people in some seats throughout New England. Uh, you know, when I knew I was working with John, it was, uh, you got to come in, and we had to give, had to give your all. And, my brother Sean's not here tonight, but we worked as your, as your Riley brothers. Yeah. And uh, Sean and I would wrestle John, and the next guest will be coming out in a uh, couple minutes here. But there were some wars, and we were all trained by Walter Kowalski. We were trained the right way to work and to protect each other. But man, it, it was a war out there. And John, I want to thank you because those were some fun nights, lots of fun nights. and. And memories, you know, I've got a couple of kids, uh, three kids, I have a grandchild, and they like to hear the stories, and they're all good stories, and they're all good memories. So, thank you, John, and congratulations tonight. This next man is a world traveler. He was in international wrestling for the Bedlam from Boston era. He traveled to Puerto Rico as the unknown. During his time in the World Wrestling Council, 80,000 fans packed the National Stadium in Trinidad to watch him wrestle against Ric Flair. He's been on and off tag partner of yours, also an opponent. In 1986, while in Northeast Wrestling, you and he drew more fans than the WWF at the Springfield Civic Center. He has wrestled in World Championship Wrestling, as well as the World Wrestling Federation. He is a member of both the New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame and the International Wrestling Hall of Fame. He is Mr. Fabulous, the Soul Man, Tony Ulysses! Yeah. <laughs> As we get younger, we 
it's so hard to get down to the ring. But you know, we've been through a lot of battles together, and a lot of things together, we travel all over. But I still have a grudge against you, man. You kicked my ass for being in the championship belt. Well, you were the man that Tony, night. Tony, yo, you don't have to keep the grudge going because somebody had to do it. <laughs> well, that is done by Sergeant Muldoon. But I got two things to say to you. You simply look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This next gentleman was a former tag team partner and occasional adversary of Sergeant Muldoon. In the 1980s, he literally became an international star touring the world to wrestle. He was the longest reigning IWF heavyweight champion. He's also considered one of the most agile big men ever to wrestle for IWF. Originally from Montreal, Quebec, the one and only Mad Dog Richard. The next person is someone you have known your entire career. He officiated many of your matches in the WWF. He went on to become a wrestler, first as Mr. X, then as a member of the Hart Foundation. He was featured in a featured match at WrestleMania 3. Would you make a warm up for Dangerous Diddy Demon? standing right next to me. I'm proud to call you my friend. As you know, the wrestling business in our day was a dirty business. People ask me a lot, well, why did you come to eat? Why were you so anxious to be part of the WWF? Why did you go and do all that stuff to yourself and to your body for all those years? And the answer to that is sitting right out here. All you friends, the greatest friends, the world come right from right here in New England. Yeah! I was fortunate enough to be part of it. I was fortunate enough to be at one of the biggest events in wrestling history in WrestleMania 3, where I pinned Davy Boy Smith. One, two, three, right in the center of the ring. Yeah! Uh, Bret Hart, Jim Knight Hart, Jimmy Hart, myself. We made history, Daddy. We made history every day for years. This gentleman and I made this business what it is today, unfortunately. No, <laughs> seriously. And the people who came before us, we cherish just as much as the people who came after us will cherish us. Mr. Muldoon, it's a pleasure to call you my friend, and he's one of the greats. And let's also welcome some of the stars here tonight are from Showcase Pro Wrestling.
You know, this is, this is pretty overwhelming. To have my friends from way back come here. Way back. I know, you're only 30, I know. Way back, when we used to go into that ring, and the only thing we had on our mind was what can we do tonight to make this a memorable match and make us, this crowd want to come back next month to see us again. And as Nick alluded to, the Springfield Civic Center, we did just that. And we outdrew the WWF. And that was a pretty remarkable thing. Yeah. And you know, I look at all the kids that are training the ring now, and all the wrestlers from Showcase. You got some pretty bright futures out here. And down the road, some of these ladies and gentlemen that you see outside this ring are going to be doing the exact same thing that these gentlemen and I did so many years ago. You're going to be getting on that big stage, you're going to be going out in front of thousands of people, and you're going to be the reason that people want to come out and see you. Yeah. stars of tomorrow and thank God we do and you know the IWF that was home for the years for all of us and Danny Davis uh, uh, I'm not going to go into a long winded side story thank you <laughs> <laughs> we were in Boston Garden 19,000 people in the building Danny's the referee I'm wrestling the opening match with Rudy Diamond I throw him in the ropes I bend down for a backdrop he leapfrogs over my back, I pose out. Now we've done this a thousand times. He hits me with a drop kick, I go over the top rope. I'm waiting, posing. Danny comes over, ain't coming. What are you talking about? Turn around. Rudy's on his face on the back. <laughs> he tripped on a leapfrog. He didn't wear no shoes. No, he didn't wear shoes, so he slipped on the mat. <laughs> but that's what made it fun. Yeah. You had those little screw-ups like that, and it just made it fun to want to go out there every night. And to all the kids that are out here, and the ones who come in to train with us, and the ones who have that dream in their eye, and they get into this ring, and they feel that match for the first time, it takes me back to when I went to Salem YMCA, and Walter took me by the hand, and showed me, actually he took me by the feet. This is how you bump, kid. <laughs> <laughs> It, it just takes you back to that point where you started and you see that dream and you see it in their eye and you know that if this kid applies himself, if this kid really has it in his heart, he's going to make it as a star. And I want to thank everybody who came out tonight, especially all the boys and girls at Showcase Pro Wrestling. This is really special. Thank you very, very much.
Let's hear it one more time for Sergeant Muldoon! Hot. Huh? Let's all get you guys ready to get back to some action in the ring.